to a story that's really beyond comprehension. A mother's ashes lost in the mail. Her son right now looking for answers, but after five months, frankly, not holding out very much hope. Kevin Rader has the story for us from Seymour. Mary Louise Mink had told her son she didn't want to be cremated, but distance and cost made that wish impractical. Obviously, I didn't have the money to bring her back here. So Mary Mink's youngest son made arrangements to have her remains cremated in North Dakota, where she was living, and sent back to Indiana to be buried next to her parents, except she never arrived. She was mailed to us on the 28th of February. If you track the package, it says that she should have been delivered to us on, Fe on March 2nd. But if you track the package, it says dead mail. The irony of that statement is not lost on me. He started demanding answers. And he gave me the tracking number. I said, now won't you tell me what's going on? And he said, well, I didn't want to be the one to tell you, but your mom's ashes have been lost. Just like that. No remorse. No, I'm sorry. Nothing. The envelope the urn was packaged in was discovered in Tennessee. Empty. Mink points out the packaging does not resemble what the United States Post Office recommends when shipping human remains. But the North Dakota Funeral Board says the crematorium there did nothing wrong. That didn't stop Mink from asking tough questions. All I said was, somebody done something wrong. Somebody needs to take responsibility. And apparently somebody didn't know what they were doing. He was encouraged to take a $1,000 settlement, but refused. Which they're just saying it's missing mail. To them it may be. To me and my family, it's totally different, you know. Mink is having trouble finding an attorney to actually take this case in North Dakota because of the board's ruling, but he remains undeterred there. He also plans to buy a headstone to put next to his grandparents, his mom's parents, anyway. How horrible. Somebody really messed up here. Yeah, and this is one of those where, you know, the post office says it was in the wrong kind of package, and therefore when it went through the sorter, that might have been the problem. He says it might have also been a problem with the packaging itself, since it's not what the post office mm -hmm. recommends. But either way, I can't imagine going through something like this. No, and can't. you've got to think that the crematorium, probably, if that's the way they ship ashes, they've done it successfully many mm -hmm. times in the past. You, I don't know. You just wonder. Feel for the family. Yeah, I think I think they're still. I think he's going to pursue this case even if he can't find an attorney. He may try it on his own. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Thank you.